Hi guys, Sak Studio here and for today we are going to share on how we do our architectural post-production process using Adobe Photoshop CC. The version of Adobe Photoshop that we will be using is 2019. The version of Adobe Photoshop is quite important because lower versions might have different settings from the latest ones. For the exterior rendered image that we will be using on this video, we will be using the rendered image from the NHK part 1. If you are interested in figuring out on how we were able to produce this rendered image, we suggest that you go check that video out. For the Lumion model that we will be using on this video, it is posted in our Gumroad website which is called NHK3. You can download the Lumion model for free or you can donate any amount of money. Thank you so much. The version of NHK3 is Lumion 10 so only people with Lumion 10 or higher versions of Lumion will be able to open the model. So let's open the exterior rendered image in Adobe Photoshop. Click the background layer and let's change it into layer 0. Then press OK. After that, press Ctrl Shift A to open the camera raw filter. Click the auto tab, set the vibrance and saturation into plus 3. The haze would be plus 25. Clarity would be plus 50. And let's set the texture to plus 25. After that, let's adjust these settings. We are going to lessen the black elements on this image as well as the highlights. Alright, this is good enough. Press OK. After the camera raw filter, let's add the Gaussian blur effect. Hold Alt, then drag the layer 0 down. A layer 0 copy should come out. Then drag it above layer 0 without holding Alt. Change the normal setting into soft light, then adjust the opacity to 40%. Go to filters, then select blur, and under the blur effect, select Gaussian blur. Radius should be 5 pixels, then press OK. After the Gaussian blur, let's add the high pass effect. Press Ctrl Shift Alt E, a layer 1 should appear above layer 0 copy. Then press Ctrl Shift U, the layer 1 should turn black and white. Change the normal setting into overlay, and set the opacity into 25%. Go to filters, and select others, then select high pass. Radius should be 10 pixels pixels, then press OK. Let's now save this rendered image, create a folder, and we are going to name this image 1. Quality should be 12 and maximum. After that, let's open the previously saved image. Let's click the background layer, and we are going to change this again into layer 0. Press OK. Press Ctrl Shift A to open the camera raw filter. Let's set the clarity to plus 55 and texture to negative 100. Let's adjust these settings next. We are going to lessen the black elements again. Alright, this is good. Press OK. After that, we should add a bit of vibrance and saturation. So let's open the camera raw filter again, press Ctrl Shift A, let's set the vibrance into plus 18 and saturation to plus 6. Okay this is good, press OK. Let's now save this rendered image, we are going to name this image 2. Quality should be 12 and maximum. And that is pretty much it for the post production process. Here is the difference between the rendered image with just rendering it with Lumion and after applying the post production with Adobe Photoshop CC. We hope that you've learned something new from this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day.